All right, so last time and all the other times, I uh, had some notes that I was using to keep myself on track. This time I'm just gonna freestyle it, see how that goes. So the last time I did a video, I wasn't sure how cycle two was gonna go. It ended up being pushed back because my counts were too low. They didn't quite get where they needed to be. So I went back one week and then that week was cycle two and that hit me way harder than the first one. Still not terrible. I've seen people in there having it a lot worse, so I'm pretty lucky in that regard, but it definitely hit me harder between like the nausea and uh, losing my appetite. The Saturday right after, I uh, ended up getting a low-ish fever. With chemo, they want you to call the doctor at 100.5. Uh, mine got to 100.5 and we called. He said that if it got to 101, then I should go to the ER. So my parents say the night that night, we checked my temperature every what seemed like 10 minutes, but it wasn't quite that. Um, ended up breaking the fever around 2.30 in the morning, so I didn't have to go to the ER. Then the next few days, I felt way worse than the last time, but still not terrible. I mean, still people have it way worse than, than I do. I rode a motorcycle, hopped on my skateboard to see if I could still do a switch kickflip. It took me a bunch of tries, and I fell on the ground a few times, but I got it. I've been go-karting a lot this time. I've gone for a lot of bike rides, both on the indoor cycle I have in my room and outside, so that's good. Uh, I asked my doctor if next time I could go skydiving. He said he would want to know what my blood counts are like. My mom is pretty adamant about not doing it, but we'll see what happens. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Cycle 3 starts tomorrow, uh, September 9th. I'm expecting it to be at least as hard as week 2 was, maybe a little worse. Um, but luckily, my work is super flexible with me, and they're allowing me to take off until the following Thursday, which is actually my day off, but I'm just rearranging some days. A lot of people, both at work and just friends and family, have been wearing this. Some have been wearing it at work on air the whole time. Some of all the behind-the-scenes people that I'm close with have been wearing it the whole time, so I'm super thankful for that. My whole family's been wearing it the whole time. I've got friends all over the country. I have, you know, California. Illinois, New York, New Jersey, all over are wearing it, so I appreciate the support. The money that was raised by selling these bracelets, I'm going to use to pay it forward. I've already contributed a little to a couple small things. I'm probably going to do a bunch of little acts of kindness rather than large ones, so I'm looking forward to doing that when I can. Um, spread it out a little bit. And uh, yeah, appreciate all the support. Everybody's been super nice and helpful. I'm glad that... Uh, Last time I had Nitro World Games to watch. This time I've got ODU football to watch on the on the weekends, and looking forward to that. So we'll see how it goes.